Betway sponsors Frotch vs Groves 2 on Sky Sports. This is James Holder for IFL TV. I'm in Wembley Arena today for the undercard press conference of Frotch v Groves 2. With me I've got legendary commentator Jim Watt. How are we doing Jim? I'm doing fine, thanks. Very well. We're getting close to the big fight now. We seem to have been talking about it forever. But it's, it's the, the biggest fight I've ever been involved in and I can't wait. Do you know what? I just realised I should actually introduce you as former world champion. Commentator, yeah, well, I right. mean, most boxing, most boxing fans know that already, so that's all right. Indeed, indeed. Talk to me about this fight, Jim. It's, it's a long time since we've seen a fight of this magnitude, 1932 in some cases, has been quoted. Could you talk to me yeah. about the fight a little bit? I, I mean, it's huge. I mean, attracting 80,000 people, you know, and tickets going in sale in a matter of minutes. Of, you know, it's amazing. I've never known an event like this. It's terrific and, and it's a rematch that had to happen, uh, unfinished business they're calling it and that sums it up perfectly. It was a terrific fight last time, uh, George Groves I think uh, proved just how good he was, I think he, he shocked everyone including uh, Carl Froch. Uh, I don't think Froch was prepared properly mentally last time so I think he knows fully what to expect this time. So I think it's going to be an even better fight this time because I think we're going to have two guys performing to their, to their best. Last time it was just one. Mm. Do you think Carl Foch won't make any chances in underestimating George Groves this time around and he'll be focused? Yeah, of course he will. I mean, it, it was obvious from what Carl was saying before the last fight, he didn't believe George Groves was in his league. Yeah, Carl had been boxing, you know, for the last four or five years, the best super middleweights in the world, beating most of them, and uh, George hadn't performed at that level. So, I, I, I mean, he was entitled to think he was a different class to Groves, but uh, you shouldn't let it affect your performance or your preparation, and I think Carl did allow that to happen. He won't do that again. I mean, the, the, I'm sure he's watched the tape several times, and the amount of right hands that Groves bounced onto his head, he knows what he's in for this time. He'll be prepared. From Groves' point of view, do you presume his tactics will be the same? Start very quick, look for double right hands, try to land the big shots? Uh, if I was advising George Groves, I would advise him to do pretty much what he did last time because, I mean, you couldn't fault what he did last time. Everything he did worked. It's going to be harder this time to make it work. But uh, I'd say the tactics should be the same. You know, throw big, uh, if you're in range, throw punches and throw big punches. The only thing I would change about uh, what George did last time, uh, I would send him in with a 12-round plan. I mean, George can't do any more to Carl this time than he did last time. And Carl was still there, you know, taking his bumps and in a position to turn the fight around. So uh, I think George has got to realise that this looks like a 12-round fight. If he's going to be the winner, I would expect it to be in points. He can't afford to run out of steam. You know, he didn't run out of steam last time, but certainly the pace has slowed. Uh, so I think it's imperative that uh, he doesn't run out of steam. So I would suggest, if I was working with George, I would suggest he fights in bursts, not three minutes of every round. Fight in bursts. When he goes to work, put everything he's got into the bursts, but uh, then look after himself in between. If he fights every minute of every round, then uh, the last four rounds or so is going to be really tough because you know how tough and strong Froch is. Would this be probably one of the biggest fights in magnitude that you've had a pleasure of commentating and being involved with? Yeah, it's, it certainly is. Without a doubt it is. And it's terrific that it's two British boxers that are taking part in it. I'm, I'm being at some huge events, you know, I've, uh, you know, I've sat ringside at World Heavyweight Championship fights, you know. I've been at... Uh, Hagler, Hearns, Leonard, Duran, Mike Tyson, you know, Sat Ringside commentating, commentating all of those guys. But uh, event wise, this is the biggest and uh, the most exciting. Uh, it's the most excited I've felt uh, before I think. We live in an age now where social media is coming very, very prominent. Are you aware of the social media fan club that you have? A lot of people tweeting stuff, such as the Jim Watt bingo and other things that have been about. No, I'm not on Twitter or anything, and I believe there's someone having a little bit of fun, you know, saying that it's Jim Watt Sky Sports on Twitter. That's not me. For anyone that's listening, I'm not on Twitter. That's good I don't to have, get that. That's I, good. I, I, don't, I don't have a Twitter account. Uh, 
And as long as what the the young gentleman who's having fun is, as long as what he's saying is not libelous, I don't mind. I don't mind a, a bit of fun. I don't see anything wrong with it. That's a great but, attitude, too. Yeah. Well, 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 what's the point? Why, why get upset about things? Uh, as long as he's not insulting people, uh, you know, saying crazy things, then fine. Let him go on with it. Enjoy. Well, we're, we're, we're here for a, a short time. Well, let's make it a good time. So I don't worry about it. But. Uh, I mean, I find in social media, you know, it's, it's, some of my colleagues tell me they, they, they've been on it, but they come off it again because they're taking an awful lot of stick. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of people who want to, to say something on the social media, they, they want yeah. to complain, they, you, know, they, they, you know, they want to insult and stuff like that. So I just don't get involved in it. It doesn't affect me because I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't follow it and I don't get involved in it. Yeah. All right, well, Jim, I thank you for giving me a bit of your time today, sir. It's great to get you on the channel, it really is. And Enjoy fight week, hopefully we get a chance to catch up with you again real soon. Nice to talk to this you. This is James Helder with Jim Watt for IFL TV. Thank you very much. Betway sponsors Froch vs Groves 2 on Sky Sports.